Hello YouTubers. I hope you can hear me. The wind out here is ferocious. So I don't know whether you're going to be able to hear this or not. We're going to take the other side off now. Hopefully it'll be go as good as the other side. I'm going to explain everything that I explained on the other side because some people will jump in on this video and not seen the one before it even though I think I'll label it one and two. So this is uh, on the freaking Jeep. This is the Jeep part of freaking Jeep. And what we're doing is we're going to take these automatic hubs off. You can tell real quick they're automatic hubs from a distance because this is smooth here and on a other on a manual hub this has got ribs in it. Number two is also says Lockomatic. And they're pretty nice because when you shift it inside, the clutches in here lock that hub in so you don't have to get out here and turn this turn this into uh, a locking hub. It turns automatically when you go in on four-wheel drive. That's what makes these so nice. Um, it was I guess an option from Warren that you'd get a long time ago. Let's get these off. I don't know how much longer the wind's going to, I don't know whether it's getting you or not. But sometimes there's a, a uh, snap ring here. There's not one there, so I don't have to worry about it. Here's the clutch, the little clutches in here. These things look in great shape. And so what they do is this hub would turn then lock that hub in automatically outside. So I'm going to leave that there. This is the part that nobody knows. When you buy this hub, automatic hub on eBay, nobody includes this part. And when they take these off, they never take that part off. That's, that's an important part. And as I said on the other side, there's supposed to be three Allens in there and then two across from each other that... Um, are the ones that you unlock. So you got to take these Allens out. The little Allen sets, and they don't they don't come out that hard, and you don't got to really drive them in that hard. That's all you got to do. And I think they have some kind of Loctite or something on them when you put them in, because they're a little it's a little stiff. That one there probably wasn't sunk in all the way. Only one, maybe two go in, or two go in, and if you get it right, that one there is not in. And they just have to line up with, um, I'll show you when I get it off. Hopefully this one will come off as easy as the other one. For demonstration purposes only, huh? There it goes. These are nice. I like these on all the Jeeps. If you're going to get into heavy four-wheel and you still got to get outside and turn that on. Now this is another important part that if you get those automatic hubs, you got to have this or you don't have an automatic hub. It's just that simple. See this part here? Got all these little holes in it. Okay, so that's a variety of selection. <coughs> so when these Allen sets, little Allens come through, now they're special Allens too. So they're not threaded all the way at the end. I, I don't know. You are not going to be able to see it. But I, I just don't know exactly what. There's just a little nub coming up here. I hope that you can see that. And it's what that does is this locks into the spindle so this can't turn. With this can't turn, then that nut in there can't turn out. Then this goes in and locks, locks this in so this one can't turn. And that's all that little Allen, Allen nub does is come through here to sit into one of these. Now, this one here, you can get one, two in. Maybe in this position, you can usually you can get two in. There's one, two. There's another one over here, but I haven't seen that one come up yet. If you get that one, whoops, I'm not showing you guys right. Anyhow, you can see that one there. This one here will come in play. Sometimes that's why you got three, three of them, and only two usually come into play. And then that keeps that nut from backing out then you have to well because I'm putting this back on this is the part that line uh, secures it on the spindle so it can't spin so that goes on and I'm just putting this nut on here uh, we got lucky on that one your Jeep I've had this thing since that Jeep wrench has put on more wheel bearings and you can imagine, I've had that since, since the late 60s.
that should be tight enough. Then you have to bend one of these, bend an edge of it over. If you can get an edge to bend, there it goes. You don't have to bend enough, just enough so it doesn't back off. And like I said, I'm just putting these hubs on it to sell it. So um, I'm not putting that uh, C-clip on there. It's not a C-clip, I guess, horseshoe clip. I don't know what they call the clip. It's They're sitting in the Jeep. They keep the axle in the right, right spot, I guess, in the knuckle part. I'm not positive exactly what that does, but I think that's what it does. In other words, that axle can go in and out, and that keeps it in the out position so the back of it doesn't rub in the housing. All right. Oh, that one's a little snug. Let's see what we got here. eBay and you buy a set of hubs you make sure that you get these two little pieces you got to have them I can't get the thing apart you got to have them if you want automatic hubs so that's that's a wrap up on the hub thing I gotta put that in I'm gonna set this down here get up there and turn turn the camera off where are we at time wise we're at five minutes so oh, we can go browse the book maybe a little more can you see the mud here it has been terrible the last well yesterday we got the last three days we've gotten maybe three quarters of an inch every day of rain and uh this jeep had been sitting down there remember when i showed the video i think it might have been yesterday you can see the berm here well, the berm was causing the water to go right through here, and that's where the two front wheels were in the Jeep. So I pulled that out before the rain came in, and uh, I imagine this path of water through here was probably, it's usually three or four feet on a good snow, but all that snow up there, if you can see it, and over there, it's just a, a mud hole. So, but it's melting down, it's spring, it'll be here before too long, but meanwhile, I'm starving for videos because I don't have so that's you here's the mud you can see the the trails this is just but we got it off we got I'm gonna go air the tires up there a little bit low and uh, that's about it here's here's uh the Jeep or the Warren book I got that uh, we're going over the the parts this says 1980 so that's probably about what it is the hubs that we're working on there's the overdrive, how the overdrive works. There's a lot of those out there. Different different parts, kind of review of some of the stuff. Here's, here's the different hubs. There's a um, clutch, uh, what do you call it, hub service kit. I don't think you can get that anymore. I don't see, yeah, kit number L7304. Boy, if you could get that, you'd be in hog heaven. But I think that's for these hubs up here. Um, it's a different different hub kit for these different lights that Warren used to sell I guess they sold flashing lights backup buzzers all sorts of stuff um, kind of interesting interesting old books these this is the hub that we we're just working on here these are the parts that I was just telling you about that you have to have when you get the hub we reviewed this in the last movie okay here you can see the ribs this is a regular hub see the ribs there those are the ribs that I'm talking about that's the retaining clip C clip horseshoe clip that I didn't put back on there because I just didn't feel like doing it but I think that keeps the axle from going into the housing somebody could probably leave in the comments uh, below if they know exactly what it does once again here's the um, overdrive unit and I guess this is all the the parts for the overdrive unit um, what else we got here? Now, see, this says 78. That's why I thought it was a 78 catalog. Used to have a lot of Jeep stuff around here, but there's there's an overdrive unit. There's hubs. Uh, here's a surface kit. 
Uh, I think that's the wrong service kit. Warren Hub service kit. That's a 7300. This Warren service kit, that might be the one you need. Uh, 7301. I'll see if I can't. I don't know that you can get those anymore. Sure would be nice if you could. Because those clutches, those clutches in there wear out. If you use it, that's why, that's why when you're um, four-wheeling, you're going to really get into a good, you just go out there and lock them in manually. You can still, still lock them in manually. Here's all the different things in the book. We got heavy winches, we got light winches, we got winch mounting, we got overdrive unit. There's your overdrive unit and all the all the parts to the overdrive unit. If if somebody's needing an overdrive unit, maybe you can catch up on that and you can slow it down wherever you need to get your part number, maybe zoom in. If you don't get what you're exactly needing on that, uh, drop me a line somehow, I'll see if I can't get it to you. You guys can email me at Frickin' Jeep, F-R-I-C-K-N-J-E-E-P, which is the same as the thing at Hotmail.com. Now we're getting into hubs. This is your different hubs that went on your different vehicles. Sales brochure, which is mumbo jumbo. Uh, I guess this is a parts list for a small hub. These are the different hubs that fit the different things. Once again, this is the manual hub. See right here? It's got ring, it's got, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like rings. Now here's the automatic hub. See how it's smooth? That's how you can tell the difference real quick. This is for some, that's an internal hub of some sort. This is an external hub. I guess that's for maybe a Ford or something. They, they made, Warren made them for more than just one vehicle. Lights, prices, <laughs> I wonder what the prices are. Daggone if it doesn't have prices in here. Holy crap. You want a set of, set of hubs? I wonder what hub, I don't know what it is, M38 or M8, M3. This is a 6-1 of 78. Winch grill, look at all this stuff. Overdrive unit, over, here you go. Over A dealer price for an overdrive unit back in its day was $209. Right there, $209, $209, $209. Suggested retail price, $349. That's kind of interesting. Scout. Um, let's see, that says Scout on it, 3 speed, 3 speed, 3 speed, I guess you got to know exactly what you're getting for. Then, okay, here's hub assemblies, let me see if we, I think this is a, I don't remember what hub assembly this is, you'd think the Jeep would be number one. Uh, how about a worn t-shirt, you need a worn t-shirt? Here's parts lists, look at all the parts. I, I guess it's just for I, I don't know what it is I don't go through this book a whole lot I just got it out for here's here's miscellaneous stuff one page is nothing I guess no there's something a display here's counter counter sales ads here's something you guys never seen before look at that what is that thing that's some kind of man I don't know what that is that's some kind of uh, military device no I better not say military I don't know what that thing is. That that looks really. If anybody knows what that is, you're old. <laughs> uh, here's uh, the the uh, worn uh, winches service registration manual. Uh, we got we got all sorts of stuff. I had an old worn winch like this one here. I don't remember what the model, model eight thousand best winch you ever wanted to have. That those things were like rock solid. That I'll tell you what. I pulled more people out with that that winch. Here's how to work on it. Anyhow, we're going to call this a wrap. This is the Jeep side of freaking Jeep on the video. We'll see you guys later. I'm going to put this one on after the other one. So if you saw the other one, you might not want to see this one. Or look at them both, whatever. Over and out. Bye.